Xavier Poisson, who is the worldwide vice president of service providers and something very interesting, Cloud 28 Plus, which he's going to tell us more about. So from Hewlett Packard Enterprise, please help me welcome to the stage a CloudFest welcome to Xavier Poisson. Xavier, come and join us. Hey. hey. Hi. So good morning, everyone, and welcome to the CloudFest. Beyond a single cloud story, how are we are going to move beyond stereotypes? I just want to come back that, to the idea that, yes, we live in a world where everything compute. But this is perhaps not the most important that is happening today. Because data are exploding. Data is the new oil that on the new currency that we are seeing today. How this will impact everything that we do. There is a new thing that has come. We are speaking about cloud computing with a hyperscale. A lot of people speak about that. What is happening at the edge? We just learned from our colleague from Intel that a lot of things are happening there. How we are going to enable to give a sense to this data in order that we build the world for tomorrow? This is where we believe service providers and ISVs working together have a very, very big role to play. Another disruption on the market I want just to inject for you. We spoke about GDPR this morning. We spoke about efficiency. But look at that. Do you know that today in the US, 626 billion liters of water have been cooling data centers, meaning the consumption for a human being of water for one month on the planet. We have a global responsibility to act on that. We have a global responsibility designing data centers, speaking together with end user customers to introduce what will feed the next technologies coming inside the new kind of data centers at the edge. So when you look at that, we need to act together. We need to find new technologies, but also new social compounds in order that we build the cloud as we want it to be tomorrow. So for that, just look at the stats. Is, the, is there one cloud? Is there the cloud for the hyperscale? No. There is a cloud for everyone. Just remember, cloud is the son of internet. Internet is freedom. And we have seen through the analysis that the enterprise market is moving dramatically, as you see there, to a hybrid model. Meaning that today, we can have on-prem discuss with off-prem. And it is everywhere respecting data privacy in every single country, respecting the applications on the different verticals in every sector of the economy, and just putting the right hardware at the right place to make it happen with the software-defined architecture. This is what Hewlett Packard Enterprise is working on every day. Now, for service providers, we believe that as a company, developing infrastructure, because that's what we are. We need to accelerate the revenue generation for the service providers while we listen to the market, because we are at both places. We listen to end user customers, we discuss with service providers, and we build solutions together with ready-to-deploy infrastructure. The second thing we believe we need to do to help you to achieve as an end user customer or a service provider this transition, but respecting what I said at the beginning, combining the right way, the core and the edge, and thinking about sustainability, and sustainability means money. But we need to act on this for our children. We need to give you the requested financial systems to make it happen. This is all about the flexible capacity solutions that we put in place to enable end user customers and service providers to provide the best and the most responsible solutions on the market. And go to market partnership. We don't believe that 
a service provider can embrace everything because there is a lot to be done. We listen to the market, we have channel partners, we work with service providers, and together we need to accelerate the business, finding the right solutions on the right marketing mechanism in order service provider can meet their goal. Three things that we do quite well. Addressing the consumer motion. And there is one thing for service providers that I need to say today. When an end user customer is transforming to a hybrid right mix motion with the consumer model, there is a shift to be done on the capital expenditure. We can help to do this with you. Once more, everything is uh, designed within our server storage and networking capabilities in order we can call on flex flexible capacity, scale up and scale down, but also discussing with the end user customers to model the right financial system to make it happen. And I would say, one of the big, big things that we can do together is to act as a community. It's not to act alone. Not alone as a service provider, a value-added reseller, an ISV, or a university even. Not alone in one country or another. But just imagine if all together we are at one place, working together to accelerate the business of each other. This is the destination that we want to achieve. And we do that with two big programs, which is Partner Ready for Service Providers and also the Cloud 28 Plus community. I will speak about that later. Now, for service providers, as I said, we want to accelerate on specific solutions that we have tested, that we have designed, discussing with end user customers in order that all together you can ensure the quality of the delivery. And you see we have what we call solution ready for service providers. You have six of them there, ranging from, we spoke about OpenStack, what we do, for instance, with YAS Public Cloud, with Ormuco or Cloud Sigma, but also a new trend coming on the market, which I encourage you to have a visit on, which is high-performance computing. High-performance computing is a, a, new, a new era today that everybody can embrace if it is done well. It's not only for a few. We know that we have specialized service providers, by the way, who are carrying in Europe around sustainability, such as Advania, such as OpenCareFi, who have been investing dramatically on high-performance computing in order to make it the right way. But today, these technologies are also accessible for all service providers, and we have all the bundles to make it happen. Now, what I want to discuss with you just a second now is what is uh, perhaps the most game changer in the service provider space, Cloud 28 Plus. I will just tell you the story. I will not comment this slide. This is a digital platform. This is a community. This is a place where all the participants to the economy of cloud can bring together their capabilities. We launched that, it was from an ID, and I was very, very happy to listen to, uh, to the representative from uh, uh, the Europe this morning. We launched that, it was three, four years ago, when Europe was designing what would be the single cloud market in Europe. And we said, OK, what do we do as Hewlett Packard Enterprise? Are we going to build another hyperscale? No, we are going to, to work and to play with all the participants to the cloud game. What we wanted to do is really to bring at one place all the participants to this economy, service providers, value-added resellers, ISVs, distributors, but also universities and government, in order that everybody can share, and not to say we do with partners, but to act as partners. The most beautiful in my life moments are when I have a service provider who is able just discussing with another one in another country and bring a solution on the market in a few weeks because they discuss together. The most beautiful days in my life are when an ISV, a startup, is knocking at my door and saying, hey guys, can you bring me 200 service providers in order I can accelerate my business and I can bring the value to the end user customers everywhere on the planet. And believe me or not, we do it and we just do it. Why? Because this is based 
upon one, one rule that everybody inside Cloud28 Plus has. If you want to be there, you need to give. You need to work together in order that end user customers can find on the right place all the build on the consumed services they need in order they make their digital transformation. This is what we are achieving. We are quoted by the industry analysts now after two years because we opened the service. It was only in December 15 as one of the largest cloud aggregator in the industry. And of course, this is open for all the, the partners who wants to join. But I speak about that. I would prefer that perhaps we roll the video now and listen from the partners of Cloud28+. Plus. Together, you can, you can move a market. As an individual company, you can influence a market. So if I'm a customer, I'm getting real value out of Cloud28+. Plus. It's clearly doing something successful. And as a community, if people look at it and want to be part of that community, then that's going to drive the growth numbers up. Cloud28 Plus has, has been uh, very beneficial uh, to Nastar as a, as a partner. So it helped you choose uh, several services and com combine them together in order to offer the best service to your customer. Cloud28 Plus could give us an opportunity to be part of some larger RFPs um, and also be an integral part in helping the end customer achieve the final solution that they need. Cloud28 Plus is a very good platform to grow our business. We're really excited for the opportunity to be part of the Cloud28 Plus community. It's been a simple sign up. It's a great way to gain visibility for our services and we've already received several leads. Cloud28 is a great initiative. From a customer point of view, it's great because they can just uh, set their criteria and find exactly those cloud service providers that match their criteria and even from the platform ask for a quote. It's clear that Cloud28 Plus for us will be a very important element. When we're talking about multinational account, we're talking multiple countries. And today the only one is Cloud28 Plus. This is the only one where we know when we're going to deal with a requirement from one of these very international organizations, we'll be able not only to deliver a proposition within our own footprint, but also beyond our own footprint. It is a community, a network of elements, companies, technologies, solutions, services. In a world of multi-cloud, no company has all the expertise that's necessary to deliver a business solution anymore. So Cloud28 Plus is becoming a very respected directory of, of geographical or technologically niche service providers who can help enterprises on that transition journey. Cloud28 Plus has allowed us to grow our business through a true partner ecosystem. It's about partnering and it's about lead generation. So jump in, play and share, and uh, I'm very, very happy today to make an announcement, which is that we are launching a new product out of Cloud28 Plus. We want to give every single partner of Hewlett Packard Enterprise to have the capability to have their own place within Cloud28 Plus. So everybody can join, fair enough, but this is a digital marketing engine, a lead generation engine, a platform connected solutions that you can ha use and you can use for your end user customers as service providers. So today we are launching the new Cloud28 Plus white label partner page, meaning that this Cloud28 Plus that you have been seeing, you can make it for you. And this will be available, of course, for the, the Cloud28 Plus members. Now, what we do also out of this platform, we create what we call platform connected solutions, meaning that, for instance, with what we call the Express App Platform for manufacturing, you can provision in a few clicks a comprehensive environment for a factory from software which have been published into Cloud28 Plus. We are going to integrate also Cloud28 Plus with the multi cloud tooling one sphere that has been announced by. Uh, by Hewlett Packard Enterprise, in order that, indeed, we can have all the service providers participating to Cloud28 Plus to be seen as a full resource inside HP OneSphere. And we are designing specific also third-party solutions that we, that we connect to the platform. And I will speak later with uh, 
or the, the representative from Ormuco on Lekwa, who have been doing a fabulous job with us. So, Hewlett Packard Enterprise has the right strategy to win. As I said, data and apps are at the core of everything that we design today as per our infrastructure. But we are really believing that there is a new, a new era coming with what we call the intelligent edge. And that we need not to forget it if we want to make hybrid IT real. We will not do that alone. Absolutely not. And working with our partners, with our services, and with Cloud28 Plus ecosystem, we are going to make it happen. And now I would like to welcome on stage, just to give the testimonial about what we are doing inside, Orlando Baiter, who is the CEO of Ormuco, and Jerker Nelson, who is the CEO of Lequa. Welcome, guys. So, Orlando, just come, come here. And Jerker, thank you so much. So, Orlando, Canadian company here in Europe. Can you explain what you are doing? So we all know that cloud brought amazing things to us. It brought what I call the concept of anything as a service. Right? I want infrastructure as a service, I want IoT, I want machine learning, I want platforms as a service, and this is great. But in, in this, there is one of the largest transformations of our lifetime, and it's what I call the evolution of cloud. All of us here are building cloud and are maintaining cloud. And one, one of the things that we have seen is that we require a lot of people to implement these solutions. And we need to have the best people that we have to assemble these open source packages, right? And with the evolution of automation, we can implement this without any human intervention within one hour. And with the evolution that Intel and Savvy is saying of machine learning, you can actually predict incidents and repair it, reducing the amount of people you need to actually solve those challenges. So the concept of codeless infrastructure is a concept that actually do that. Implement your solution via automation without the need of people, and being able to use machine learning to be able to reduce the incidents because the artificial intelligence allow you to do that. And that's what we do as a company. Right? We create the concept of coalless infrastructure and it's, it's transforming the world of cloud. And it's what we call the evolution of cloud. And so you have been uh, deploying your solutions within uh, several uh, service providers here in Europe. Uh, can you explain what, uh, what has been achieved? So when, when you're in a service provider, so one of the things that we have seen is, um, as we all know, we have been, service providers have been selling to the IT. They have been selling you know, backup as a service, disaster and infrastructure, but that had been shifted with the welcome of DevOps, right, as Intel was saying. So with this transformation, the conversation has changed. You used to be able to sell infrastructure as a service, but now you go and you want to help enterprises that are in the digital transformation era to be able to consume machine learning, for example, to be able to consume database as a service and big data. Right? So now when you're going to speak to clients, you're not actually selling infrastructure or containers only, but you're actually enable them to build applications. So in the case of Europe, we have had a tremendous success. Uh, you know, we, we, we launched, for example, uh, one of the largest telecommunications companies in the world with over 250 million subscribers, right? That they're the largest in Italy, Russia, Ukraine, Pakistan, Algeria and we became their cloud platform, right? Because it's the evolution of it, right? So we also partner with Also, which is one of the largest distributors in Western Europe to enable them to provide this new evolution of cloud, which is what we call coalless infrastructure. So it's very exciting time to transform this business because what we have seen is service providers had the first mover advantage, which is the ability to go to clients that are in this digital transformation journey and speak business. Rather than just speak about VMs and storage, they actually can help them transform that business. OK, so you have been a, a technology partner of Cloud28 Plus from early stage. So Cloud28 Plus is perhaps a bit new for the, the people in the audience, for some of them at least. 
Can you explain uh, what it has brought to you as a technology partner on the service provider? So, so it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing, right? Because when you, you, know, you start as a company in Canada and, and you know, we're not a technology partner of Cloud28+, Plus, but a lot of these deals that we generated, right? And the example of OI in Brazil, right? Was it with the collaboration of Cloud28? We couldn't get those markets without Cloud28, right? The same with uh, Beeline, right? With Win, which is Vion. Kiftar, a lot of those deals and go to market came with Cloud28. So we are a technology company. We engineer great solutions. But through Cloud28 Plus, we were able to get to those markets and generate revenues for us. And partnering with Lecoa, for example, we have an ecosystem in which we can, we can collaborate and bring that to the clients. So just to give an example of the collaboration we have with Cloud28 Plus, so I was in America, so I just, I just flew, and we were meeting with a healthcare uh, insurance and a hospital. So one of the conversations we're having is not about infrastructure and it's not about uh, containers or things like that, is the ability for that healthcare insurance and that hospital to predict heart diseases. So they were able, they were actually, through data that they have, we were able, with machine learning, we were able to actually predict when somebody have a blood pressure problem, what is the different cycle they go before they have to go to a heart surgery? And with this machine learning experience that we were able to have, we were able to actually predict the right moment in which we can send a nutritionist to actually stop that 50, 60,000 surgery that can generate a danger for that patient. So with Cloud28, you can actually have a digital transformation and have a different partners that you can work together to actually bring clients, uh, bring you know, a lot of benefit to your clients, which is something you didn't have before. Thank you. Thank you, Orlando. Just turning to Jacker. So Jacker, can you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Jarko Nilsson. I'm the CEO of Lequa, which is a Swedish-based company uh, from Malmö. We have uh, built a trust service solution uh, called Lequinox, which is a truly distributed ledger technology. And it basically empowers all types of application services, artificial intelligence, sensors and devices with identities. And not only identities, but the ability to act under a assigned role for the company, the device, or the person, the role, is acting and all creating a totally distributed irrefutable audit trail on each transaction. So with uh, what we call the digital transformation, organizations, nations are digitizing everything. So where at which area of this digitization process the Liquinox solution will play? It could it could play a, an overarching role in all these processes. To be able to digitize basically anything, you have to have the ability to act in this specific capacity. Under the correct business policy, that can be different for each application service organization, but also to be able to obey the national legislation or if there are uh, businesses where there are international treaties. Okay, so. We have service providers in the room. Uh, do you plan to work with them to deploy your solution? Absolutely. We are w currently working with Cloud28 to, to get it out to the, to the masses, also together with the HP Point Next solution. So we are totally uh, opening up the market, yes. And so you, you mentioned Cloud28 back. So you are Cloud28 Plus, you have been a member of Cloud28 Plus. On your side, we saw a Canadian company coming in Europe. For a Swedish company just in Europe, what does Cloud28 Plus was bringing to you? Cloud28 brings the ability to meet ISVs, service providers, resellers, and all different types of companies working with the same thing from different perspectives. And also, that's what we are doing also for the startups here in Europe really opening for you, if, you are, if there are some ISVs in the room, opening for you, as I said, more than 370 service providers who are already members of Cloud28 Plus everywhere in the world. 
And this is, uh, I can tell you, an acceleration for the business, which is huge. So uh, thank you, Jerker. I will take thank this you. back. Thank you. Thank you. Please applause them. You know, they made the effort to come for you. So as a closing remark, so digital transformation is there. YHP. YHP, and I would say, because uh, Antonio Neri, our CEO, has said it, we are infrastructure, we are infrastructure, and we are infrastructure with our services and with our partners. What does it mean? It means that for us, we have no public cloud at HP. You, as service providers, are our public cloud. And this is very important. It gives to us a huge responsibility because when we bring a customer to a service provider belonging to Cloud 28 Plus, we take commitments. So our duty is really to bring to you the best of breed, not only of the infrastructure, simplicity, synergy, nimble, three-part, Apollos, but also solutions that you can deploy very quickly in order that all joint customers are very, very happy. Because it's a huge responsibility for us, for a sales guy at HPE, because when he's engaging, learning from an end user customer that he has a YAS project, he will come to the service providers that you represent in this room. So partnership first is very, very important. Revenue generating, service pro provider ready solutions are very important to us. And as I said, not only on the infrastructure side, but also on the financial enabling side, we are here to support you every day. With that, I thank you so much for your patience and your attention today. And uh, I hope that we can win together on the market. Thank you. Xavier Poisson, Worldwide Vice President, Channel Partners. Thank you, Xavier.